Everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. I'm Silver Orpheus. Last time we backtracked around the entire wor world, and got some new enemy skills, and exacted our revenge on the Midgar Zolum. This time we're gonna be listening to Dio's instruction and heading out towards the village of Gungaga, where Sephiroth is apparently heading. Now, before we head out, I just like to go ahead and point out that I put Tifa and Aerith in the party. Um, because they are going to be very important for what's coming up. Anyway, off we go. Off to Gungaga. And... Alright, more enemies. Never fails to surprise me. But anyway, as we cross this river, we now enter the Gungaga area. There's not much to do here. Um, there are some new enemy types, though. But, more importantly... Let's head in the Gungaga. Is someone there? Hey, rude. Who do you like? What are you getting so embarrassed about? Come on, who do you like? Tifa. Hmm. That's a tough one. The poor Elena. She, you... No. She likes Sung. I never knew that. But Sung likes that ancient. What are they talking about? It's so stupid. They always talk about who they like or don't like. But Sung is different. Ah! Oh no! They're here! They're really here! Hmm. Then it's time. Rude, don't go easy on them. Not even the girls. Don't worry. I'll do my job. And we're counting on you. I'll report to Sung. Well then. It's been a while. Payback for what you did in Sector 7. Out of our way. I don't like being taken for a fool. That's as far as you go. Yeah, looks like we got some battles with the Turks, Reno and Rude. Um, Reno returning from Sector 7. And Rude is a newcomer here today. Um, although I don't think any of them are about to be lasting for very long. Uh, because what's coming up can best be described as a hell on... Gaia, I guess? That's, I mean, that's what this plane is called and all. But, why not? Uh, let's go for Clem Hazard on Rude. And Tifa... Tifa hasn't attacked yet. We'll fire through then. I'd probably go after Reno in this situation, because Reno is... Because um, Reno will attack everybody. Rude will attack everybody that's not Tifa. Um, so unless Tifa's the last party member that you have, um, he won't attack her. So remember that every time you fight um, Rude. But anyway, Reno's now out of here. Looks like our attacks were a little too much, but hey, the Fury brand on Tifa's still there. And Big Guard doing his job. Cloud gets a level up to level 28, and we get an X-Potion as our reward. Hey... Something seems wrong. Like they knew we were coming. They followed us. But there weren't any signs of it. Then, that means... That there's a Shinra spy. I don't even want to think about there being a spy. I trust everyone. So now we have a split path here. We can either go up or we can go that way. But Elena came up here, so let's go ahead and head on up here. Um, first off, yeah, encounter. There are new encounters here. And oh, okay. Um, I hope you guys don't have a fear of praying mantises because I don't, but some of you guys might. Okay, he's done. Beta just decimates him. Get on you there. Tifa gets level up to level 25. Let's head on towards the reactor. This 
Yeah, there was a Mako reactor here, and unfortunately this one suffered the same fate as Corel's. All destroyed. A ruined reactor. Well then, Scarlet and Sun. It's Scarlet, head of Shinra Weapon Development. Wonder what they're here for. Hmm, this isn't any good either. You only get junky materia from junky reactors. This reactor is a failure. What I'm looking for is big, large, huge materia. You see any? No, I haven't seen it. I'll get on it right away. Please, we can make the ultimate weapon if we if we only had some. I just can't wait. With Hojo gone, weapon development's been getting a bigger budget. I envy them. But even if we make the perfect weapon, could that stupid Heidegger even use it? Oh, sorry. I forgot Heidegger was your boss. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Here we learn that Heidegger, head of peace preservation, is also the lead, is also in charge of the Turks. Big, large, huge materia. An ultimate weapon. The perfect weapon. Just what are the Shinra up to? Feels like they're after some heat after something called huge materia. Maybe that will be important for later. Anyway, now we can move in here, and if you come back here, there's something shiny back there. You can either reach for it or not do anything. If you reach for it, you get the Titan materia. Titan is our next example of a summon, and yes, one of my favorite encounters. I love this enemy, and sadly, I don't think he's going to be getting to attack, because Tifa here is just going to... Straight in with limits, and that didn't even kill. Ooh, deep with a crit, and that kills him. That didn't even. That limit was like pathetic. Like, I didn't even kill him. But anyway, that is literally the only encounter you can find here. I could not, like. I would be lying if I said it wasn't. That enemy is so pathetic. Well, I wouldn't say pathetic. Anyway, over here we get another new materia, the Death Blow. Um, scoring a sco um, with this, all of your attacks if they connect will be criticals. So, really useful there. Uh, let's go ahead and have Tifa cast up a White Wind, because we are looking pretty low on how- Also, I cast a Matra Magic instead of Beta there. Derp! And that should probably be the end of it. A couple more attacks will probably do it if that doesn't. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, that happened. Yeah. Let's go on and head into the act. Let's go on and head into Gangaga, and explore what this place is all about. Um, uh, wrong button. No matter how much I pray, it won't bring our grandson back. A reactor explosion three years ago took my husband. Seems like the reactor exploded, and a lot of people in this town died. There's a reactor over there that we just came from. A ruined reactor. Also, that reactor, we came in from this town from the east. That reactor should be over there where I'm facing right now. That should be where the reactor is, not over there. But anyway, let's go ahead and start exploring this place. First off, I believe, is the weapon shop. Oh, this is the accessory shop. I'm a complete idiot. 
But anyway, we get some new items here. The headband, which protects against sleep. The silver glasses, which protects against darkness. Star pendant, which we've already seen, protects against poison. Talisman, which raises your spirit by 10. We already have one of those. A white cape, which we are, which we do have as well, protects against small, frog and small status. The fury ring automatically puts you in berserk. And we have some new materia. Mystify time. Mystify and time. Um, we'll go ahead and get into those a little later. But those are like the only things that are really useful right now. Because we do have a white cape which protects us against um, frog and small statuses. Up here. We get next potion. Uh, need something. So we get so this right here is the end. We can pay 80 gil to sleep in here. So yeah, that's very that's very good. So yeah, next potion in the end. Very worth it going there. And this house right here. This is Gungaga Village. Many people died here in a, in a Maka reactor explosion. And here we get a white M phone. That is a part. That is a megaphone for Ketchy. So we want to remember to equip that when we get to him. Um, yeah, this place. It's very. Run down and destroyed. In here. Oh, you're here to shop? So we're gonna buy some items. Whew. We get some potions. High potions. Phoenix downs. Tents, which we're gonna be needing a lot of. So we're gonna buy 21 of those. Which leaves us now with Burke. Maiden's Kiss will cure frog status from any party member. Cornucopia, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, we have four of these things. Wow, but they cure small status. Soft cures petrify. We got five of them still. 48 hypers. No tranquilizers, but they cure sadness. A lot of familiar items here. And then I believe there is another place. Let's go ahead and head into this house. Looks like this is pretty important. You a traveler? Hey, wait. That glow in your eye. Are you in soldier? Oh, you're right. Don't you know anything about our son? His name is Zack. It's been close to ten years since he left for the city, saying that he didn't want to live in the country. He left saying he's going to join soldier. You ever hear of a Zack and soldier? Hmm. I don't know. Zack. Young lady, you know him? I remember he wrote us seven, six or seven years ago, saying that he had a girlfriend. Could that have been you? That can't. So something's up with Aerith. Tifa, too. Zack. What happened to you two? Yeah, something's up with something's up with these two. Let's go on and talk to Aerith. Aerith. I'm in shock. I didn't know Zack was from this town. You know him? Didn't I tell you? He was my first love. Zack, soldier first class, same as Cloud. Strange. There aren't that many who make first class, but I've never heard of him. That's all right. It's all in the past now. I was just worried, because I heard he's gone. Mi he's been missing. Missing. It was five years ago. He went out on a job, and never came back. He loved women, a real ladies' man. He probably found someone else. Hey, what's wrong? Poor guy. I don't really mind. Pretend that I haven't heard from him. But I feel for his parents. Let's go, Cloud. Let's go ahead and talk to Tifa, see what she's up to.
Zack. Do you know him? N no I don't know him. Your face tells me differently. I told you I don't. Alright. It sounds just like you, leaving town and saying I'm joining Soldier. There were a lot of guys like that back then. You must be real you must really be doing doing something, making it in Soldier out of a group like that. I really respect you. I worked hard for it. Hard work pays off, huh? Cloud, thanks for caring. Yeah. That's pretty much Gungaga. And that's where this place is. Um, up here. You want something? You can buy some weapons. Um... Uh, Still selling hard edges? Grand Glove, we already have one of those equipped. Atomic Scissors, we already have one of those. Striking Staff, Diamond... Diamond Pin's actually pretty good. Um, we haven't even equipped that yet. And the Boomerang... I don't think we equipped uh, Yuffie's Wind Slash yet. So I'll hold off on that for now. Now let's head on down. Anyway, we explore the city of Gungaga. City of Gungaga. Village of Gungaga. We met we met the family of a missing soldier, Zach Fair. And we received two materia and learned that there is a Shinra spy. On the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, we're going to go on and head out. Continue our hunt for Sephiroth. See you guys then.